Imagine waking up to find out a comet just broke the rules of physics. Not bent them, not stretched them, shattered them. On July 1st, 2025, a small point of light was flagged by an automated telescope network in Chile. At first, nothing seemed unusual, just another icy visitor drifting through the solar system. But weeks later, astronomers realised something chilling. This wasn't one of ours. The object, now called 3 I Atlas, came from deep interstellar space, older than the Sun itself. And from the very beginning, it refused to behave like any comet ever recorded. Its chemistry made no sense. Its colour was wrong. Its orbit was nearly impossible. Even the best theories cracked under the pressure of the data. Scientists expected another frozen wanderer. What they got was a cosmic problem. Because if what they're seeing is real, this thing could change how we understand where life comes from, or reveal limits in physics nobody ever expected to hit in our lifetimes. So what makes this object so disturbing? And why are some researchers quietly wondering if the universe is playing by rules we haven't discovered yet? After that first detection in Chile, astronomers expected a routine follow-up. Track the orbit, measure the brightness, confirm it's a standard comet, and move on. But the early images didn't match the script. Comets usually throw a tail away from the sun. Solar heat blasts ice into vapour, dust gets pushed outward, and the tail streams behind. Simple. Predictable. But 3 I Atlas didn't care about predictable. When observatories in Hawaii and the Canary Islands zoomed in, they saw something almost no one had witnessed before. A bright, concentrated jet firing straight toward the sun. That's the opposite of what the textbooks say should happen. And this wasn't a glitch either. The jet held that shape for days, then weeks. Even as Earth changed position and new angles came into view. At first, teams thought it might be a trick of viewing angle, or dust reflecting sunlight in a weird way. But every new image kept confirming the same thing. This object was pushing material directly into the sun's face. No model of standard comet activity could explain it. And just as astronomers were trying to wrap their heads around that, the next discovery hit one that would rewrite everything they thought they knew about the comet's chemistry. But that wasn't the part that scared them most, because the real shock came when they looked deeper at what this comet was made of in the first place. When the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto 3 I Atlas, scientists expected the usual chemical fingerprint. Most comets, no matter where they were born, explode with one dominant ingredient, water. It's the backbone of comet activity. It fuels the tail. It sets the brightness. In many comets, water makes up 70-80% of what they release. But 3 I Atlas threw that rule straight out the window. Instead of water leading the charge, the comet's coma was packed with carbon dioxide nearly eight times more CO2 than water vapour. That ratio isn't just unusual, it's practically unheard of. A comet missing water is like a volcano erupting without heat. It defies the basics. So astronomers started digging for explanations. One idea quickly gained traction, cosmic rays. If this object spent billions of years drifting between the stars, it would have been cooked by a constant storm of high-energy radiation. Over enough time, radiation can bake a comet's surface into a hard, reddish, cross-sealed tight, packed with complex organic material and strong enough to trap water deep inside. That would let CO2 leak out easily, while water stayed locked beneath. And here's the part that grabbed everyone's attention. The comet looked the part, its surface reflected sunlight with a deep brick-red tint, the exact signature scientists see in laboratory experiments when ices are blasted by cosmic rays for centuries. It was the first real hint that this thing wasn't young, wasn't local, and wasn't ordinary. But even this theory came with a warning. If the radiation crust model was right, the comet's chemistry should stay strange. Red colour. Low water. High CO2 predictable at least on paper. The universe, however, was just getting started, because while some scientists were leaning toward a solution, other data was about to rip the theory open again. Just when the chemistry seemed strange enough, another red flag appeared this time from the metals hiding in the comet's coma. Normally, when sunlight starts stripping minerals off a comet's surface, 
Two elements show up together almost every time. Nickel and iron. They're cosmic twins. If one is present, the other is right behind it. Their ratio barely changes across decades of comet studies. But 3 I Atlas broke that rule too. Spectral data came in showing a strong, clean signature of nickel glowing in the gas around the comet. But iron, nearly invisible, either too weak to pick up or simply not there. And if that reading was real, it would be the first time astronomers had ever seen this kind of imbalance. That's not a small detail, that's a chemical fingerprint nobody knows how to explain. At first, teams thought the spectrographs were glitching or misreading background noise. They recalibrated instruments, cross-checked with independent telescopes, compared observation nights, and the nickel lines kept showing up. If the data holds, it means one of two things. This comet contains minerals or compounds no one has seen in any natural comet before, or 3i Atlas, formed in an environment with chemistry completely unlike anything in our solar system. Either possibility is a problem in the best scientific way. Because while chemists argued over the nickel mystery, the comet had another move planned, and this one wasn't subtle. By late October, all eyes were locked on the comet as it swung close to the sun. That's when things went from weird to no way. Instead of its tail streaming outward, 3i Atlas fired a jet straight at the sun, holding its shape as if the laws of solar wind didn't apply. Weeks passed. The jet stayed. No model could match it. Not dust, not plasma, not magnetic effects. Nothing fit. Then came the eruption. As the comet rounded the sun, its brightness exploded, skyrocketing far beyond predictions. In ultraviolet and blue filters, it suddenly shifted colour going bluer, brighter and sharper. That shift usually means one thing. Fresh, fine, icy grains blasted into space, like something inside the comet cracked wide open. And if that wasn't enough, astronomers spotted something even stranger. When they compared predicted positions to real measurements, the comet wasn't where it was supposed to be. It had jumped off course, as if something had physically shoved it. The only thing that could cause that kind of push is a massive loss of material billions of tons of ice and rock blasting away in a sudden burst. That should leave behind a huge cloud of debris, glowing in infrared, spreading through space like a cosmic explosion. But when telescopes looked... The debris wasn't there. No thick dust cloud. No thermal glow. No swarm of fragments. It was as if an enormous amount of mass simply vanished. The laws of motion said something impossible happened, and every new measurement backed that up. But the comet wasn't done. It still had one more surprise left one that would force the world's biggest telescopes to team up. After the positional jump, the astronomy community had a choice. Ignore the anomalies, or find the truth. They chose the hunt. In a rare moment of scientific unity, observatories across five continents and multiple space agencies planned a synchronised campaign. The James Webb Space Telescope would search for hidden organics and buried water. Hubble would chase ultraviolet emissions that signal fresh ice being exposed. Alma would listen for gas molecules, carbon monoxide, nickel compounds, cyanides, anything that could explain the chemistry. Solar satellites would track how the comet reacted to sunlight in real time. Amateur astronomers would watch every minute the professionals couldn't, and every test came with a clear, simple question. Is there a debris cloud massive enough to explain the missing mass? Does water finally appear, or does CO2 stay in control? Do nickel and iron return to normal, or does nickel stand alone again? Does the comet's path keep drifting, or snap back into place? Each answer pushes the mystery in a different direction. If water bursts out, the radiation crust theory wins. If debris appears, the comet probably fractured. But if nothing changes, no debris, no water surge, no iron, then the rules scientists trusted might not be enough to explain what's happening. And for now, the world waits. Because this tiny object drifting through the black has already broken rules that stood for decades. What comes next could rewrite part of astronomy itself. Right now, 3i Atlas isn't just a comet. It's a cosmic challenge, a live experiment in the sky, that refuses to fit any rulebook astronomers have relied on for decades. 
every anomaly from its sunward jet to the missing debris, from its CO2-dominated coma to the nickel mystery, stacks up like pieces of a puzzle no one has the edges for yet. Some scientists hope the next wave of observations will resolve the story. Maybe the debris cloud will appear, explaining the mass loss. Maybe water will finally erupt, confirming the radiation crust hypothesis. Maybe the metals will balance out, and the comet's chemistry will slip back into a pattern we understand. But if none of that happens, if the comet stays unpredictable, continues to defy gravity, refuses to shed its secrets, then 3i Atlas could force a complete rewrite of what we know about comets, interstellar travellers, and the processes that shape them. And that's the part that keeps astronomers and the rest of us glued to the sky. This tiny object hurtling silently from the stars may be whispering something profound about the universe, something we've never seen before. For now, all we can do is watch, wait, and wonder. Is 3i Atlas simply a cosmic outlier, or is it the first hint of forces and phenomena the universe has never revealed to us before? The next observations will decide, and when they arrive, the story could change everything.